We are here in the warehouse district of Jersey City, New Jersey. As we continue on with the Blitzball battle, it is all presented to you by DraftKings. That's my man, Joe's McFly. I am Chris Rose, and Kelsey Wingert will join us momentarily as well. This, of course, is an eight-team double elimination tournament until we get to the championship round. Then things get a little screwy. We'll talk about that coming your way a little bit later. But, Joe's, listen, it's fun when you win a title. Like, yeah, it's awesome. You get bragging rights, but here you get so much more than that. Definitely. $10,000 is on the line, courtesy of DraftKings. And make sure you guys download the DraftKings Sportsbook app. Click the link in the description and use promo code JOHNBOY when you do so. Tonight, we got a really interesting matchup. It's the number one overall seed, Forgotten Rotten. They're made up of a pair of former major leaguers, my man Trevor Plouffe, Vinny Rotino. They're taking on the eight seed, MLW, the youngest kids in the entire tournament, and they specialize in wiffle ball. At least one of them does. So the question is, will those wiffle ball skills transfer over to blitz ball? It is time to find out. Let's send you down to the cement. So here we go, it is the one seed. Forgotten Rotten, the eight seed MLW Snakes. Drew Davis stepping in against Trevor Plouffe. And Plouffe starts him off with an easy going 71 mile an hour strike. Favorites of the tourney, the two MLB players. Right here. Oh, hit him in the back. Once again, that is just a ball. If you're joining us for the first time as a Blitzball fan, it's a six-pitch walk, not a four-pitch walk. Three-pitch strikeout. Ooh, big swing and a miss, speaking of strikes. And you only get two outs per inning. We'll continue to break down the ground rules as they come to more in play here in the warehouse district in Jersey City. It's kind of long on that one. Probably might have to pull his hands in a little bit. He's moving back in the box a bit. Drew Davis, an outstanding wiffle ball player. 312 batting average across 15 games during the MLW wiffle ball season of 2021. I'm interested to see what they would say about the differences between blitz ball and wiffle ball since they're so good at it. They're kind of underrated here. Well, when you're dead last in the rankings, you have nowhere to go but up. Big swing and a miss, so Plouffe. Gets the early strikeout, the double fist in the direction of his teammate Vinny Rotino, and there's one down. Some cheese there with some run. So now it's Dan Rourke. You know him from John Boy Media fame and also Yankees Twitter. Does an outstanding job with the company. He is filling in for Jimmy Norp, who is the reigning MVP of the Wiffle Ball League. Late scratch in the tourney. I will tell you guys that I was speaking to Vinny before the game, and he told me that if they lose to a guy with jeans on and a headband, that he is quitting the tournament. So keep your eye on that. Kelsey, thank you very much. And I heard he might walk back to Wisconsin as well in the dead of winter. I asked him about that pregame. I'm like, is this a really good strategy for you? He's like, I play in jeans, bro. That's exactly how he said it. That actually is. And boots. Oh, Plouffe, head hunting, but did not hit him in the head. If you hit your opponent in the head and the pitch is more than 60 miles an hour, then that's considered a hit by pitch. If you just get hit by a regular pitch anywhere south of the head, Whoa, it's just cranky. a ball. Dan was not happy about that, and now Plouffe is telling him he's throwing a fastball. Wow, he's even telling him what's coming. Now, the key thing is saving your arm. This is a long tournament. It's double elimination. You want to make quick work of your opponent, something we did not see in game one of this tournament is John Boy threw more than 80 pitches in Team Baggage's win over We Got Ice. It is six balls for a walk, uh, Dan, not uh, five. Well, he's not the best counter here at John Boy Media. Whoa, and he swings and misses at a pitch that hits him in the chest. That ball was uh, targeted for his chest that he somehow, some way <laughs> swung at. But um... Incredible run on the pitch by Trevor Plouffe, who was the best two-way player coming out of high school in the 2004 MLB draft. And there is a strike. Plouffe just toying and talking to Rourke now. 
I think it's the jeans. Okay. Hey, let's go, Plu. Let's no way. bring that baseball today. Although it's blitz ball. And Rourke gets bragging rights in the first A-B as he works a walk. No way you're going to talk all that trash and then walk. The MLW Snakes, they're really playing with house money, let's be honest. Davis is 20 years old. Rourke is 21. They can barely each tie their shoes. Davis, a kid from Pickney, Michigan. Ooh, very late on that fastball. Sure, they would love $10,000. A lot to do there, so. Davis has got some pop. Although he hasn't shown it so far, down 0-2. He did hit 10 homers in 15 games during the MLW season. Trevor's got some nasty movement on his pitches. Whoa, that one behind Davis. Davis says his MLB comparison is a little Brett Phillips mixed in with Eric Burns. That's like a half-calf, decaf mocha latte with a twist. Okay. There's a lot going on there. Oh, and he takes a called third strike. And the two guys who have played in stadiums around the country just oozing confidence after the top of the first. Trev says, can I help you, sir? Drew says, no, thank you. Just looking. There you go. I love that line when I first used it as a CNN SI anchor in 1995. Nice. Got it from you. Yeah, I don't even know if you were born back then, to be honest. <laughs> so here we go to the bottom of the first, yeah, and yeah, now the contest really, really begins because like Drew Davis has been a very solid pitcher in the wiffle ball league, the best one there is in the country. But how is that skill going to translate over to blitz ball? Mm. I'm looking at some of these practice pitches here. Has some nice movement on them. It looks like he's working on the right side of the rubber. Uh, so that's different. Or not. So here we go. That's that Davis against Ploof. Oh, Ploof squares around the bunt before bringing it back. Trying to get a gauge on him. We all know about Trevor Plouffe in his nine-year Major League career, banged out 106 homers. Oh, that went high and tight. Hit him on the hands. Is that a foul ball? Wow, the umpire Kyle calls it a foul ball. Great job by the umpire. Wow. Great job. Great job. So that is, that is a strike. As the umpire says, it hit the bat. One one. Ouch. Wow, now they're calling for, they're calling review. for review here. So let's take a look. I'm going to go ahead and take a look here. That looks like a strike from here. That looked like that got a lot of bat. It looks like it hit the bat. Let's take a look once more. Yeah, that hit the Hold bat. Hold on. Joes, you want to call hit, it? That hit the bat. Foul ball. Oh, wow. And look at this, the number one seed. Everybody else clapping, saying, we like it. We want to see the number one seed go down Let's like UBA happens. did in the tournament several years ago in the men's hoops tournament. Bloof has been outstanding in four back alley at bats games, hitting over 700. Whoa, jammed him, tied him up. That was a nasty pitch, man. Look at that. Look like it was starting outside and made his way all the way inside to jam two. I like the strategy there, trying to go outside. What a great opportunity, though, if you think about it, for Drew Davis, 20 years old from middle America, facing a former major league hitter. Whoa, and that ball is, that is a single. 
Now, one of the oddities here in the warehouse district. Ball goes off the wall, lands in zone three before anybody could catch it. That is a single. And so Forgotten Rotten has its leadoff man on. Trev ready to hit. That was good. Good stuff. I know that a lot of fielders are taking the strategy of playing the pull side, but then that kind of robs you of if somebody goes the opposite way. Vinny Rotino, head in the count, 2-0. and oh. Played with Milwaukee, Cleveland, the Mets, and the Marlins spread out over five seasons. Logged 62 games in the show. One of his three career homers came off of former World Series MVP Cole Hamels. A World Baseball Classic team, too, 2009. That, of course, for Team Italy. And he looks at a strike. What a paint job. I love Rotino's uh, self-description of an MLB comparison. Oh, swing and a miss, and it hits him right in the gut. Apparently, he's been going to the Dan Rourke School of Swinging. That is the payback. I feel like that's the, that, that's the Rourke payback. So the ruling by umpire Kyle is that the pitch was too fast. Once again, if it yes. goes over a certain miles per hour, it can be considered a ball regardless of the outcome. He's throwing cheese. So now we have a 4-2 count with a runner on first. Oh, just missed outside. Great eye by Rutino. Love that. Look at that pitch. Almost nicked the outside corner. Loving the movement on his pitches. Oh, did he go? He did not. Hit him on the arm, and so that counts as a ball and it is officially a walk. So the one seed, Forgotten Rotten, gets its leadoff men on, nobody out, and 20-year-old Drew Davis is feeling the pressure, Joes. Yeah, he definitely is here. Major League hitters are patient. Not really chasing out of the zone unless you're throwing it in your chest, I guess, but. He knows the scouting? I think he's got enough to get out of this. Oh, look at Plouffe showing wow. ultimate disrespect by That's, not even putting the bat up in order to swing. Plouffe, what are you doing? Unbelievable. This is what is he? The massive head games the former major leaguer is trying out on the 20-year-old Wiffle Ball star. Yeah. Ooh. There you go. And now Dave, I'd fire it at that coconut <laughs> too, brother. Uh. Plouffe, show some respect. Oh, look at this. One-handed. There you go. That's right, Drew Davis. You do your thing, kid. Plouffe trying to be a villain here. Nice pitch there. Nice. Wow. So Plouffe, who has been mocking Davis throughout this at bat, is now looking at a count of three and two. Yes. Two runners on here. Takes inside. Once again, this is a double elimination tournament until we get to the championship round. Oh, right down the pipe, a 74 mile an hour called strike three. Uh, well, Plouffe was looking a little bit too much on that one. Um, statue. <laughs> Bertino looks at ball two. So important for the 20-year-old Drew Davis, the wiffle ball star, to get out of his first blitz ball frame. Just needs one more out to do it. Jam shot, great play by Davis, who gets down and dirty and makes the out. That's a great play. Giving up base runners in the first two ABs. He comes back to retire the next two. We are through an inning between the one seed, the Forgotten Rotten, the eight seed, the MLW Snakes, and we are scoreless. It is time right now to check in with Kelsey Winger. 
Just another reminder, you guys, that we would not be here with our best friends at DraftKings Sportsbook. Of course, America's top-rated sportsbook. You can sign up today using the promo code JOHNBOY, and that'll get you up to $1,000 in free deposits. With your first deposit, that link is in our description. So use the code JOHNBOY. Joining me now is Vinny, who before the game did note that if they lose to a player in denim and a headband, that he will quit. That was a tough inning for you guys. You got men on but y'all couldn't come through. What were you seeing from Drew? Yeah, well, I am flying home if we lose to a guy playing, wearing jeans right now. But, yeah, no. So, he had a pretty good two-seamer work, and I literally hit that ball off my knuckles. So, there's some some marks on my knuckles. It was a tough at-bat. At How are the knuckles? No, they're fine. They're fine. I'm going to probably ice them down later tonight, but um, it should be good to go for the rest of the game. You happy with Trev on the mound? How's he looking? Oh, he's looking awesome. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's our backbone. So, I'm, I'm here to support Trev, but we're going to win. Go support Trev Vinny. Thank you so much for your time. Joe's, Chris, back up to you guys. All right, Kelsey, thank you very much. Scoreless headed to the top of the second. Plouffe with an outstanding first inning. Threw just 17 pitches, eight of which went for strikes. Ready? The lone blemish a walk to this man, the jeans wearing Dan Rourke. Maybe he's trying to get a jeans endorsement deal. Maybe a skinny jeans endorsement deal. Or boots. Or headband. The headband works for him, though. Yeah, I think he was in a uh, Loverboy cover band. And for anybody <laughs> that's under the age of 40, just Google Loverboy. You'll take a look at the photo, and then you'll start laughing. Do yourselves a favor. Ooh, Ploof challenges him, gets ahead of one and two. Got to be ready to hit. Dan Rourke, a replacement player for the wiffle ball MVP of the MLW, Jimmy Norp. So, obviously, a huge blow to the MLW Snakes, but let's see if Rourke can come through. He cannot. Quick punch out. Pants might be just a little too tight. Once again, if you foul strike three back into the blitz ball battle rectangle, that is considered strike three. It's as though the catcher catches it on a foul tip. Ooh, that nice sweeper to get ahead. Pitch. Look Luke. at that. He's feeling it, Joes. Beautiful pitch right there. Look at that. Nice. Davis, pair of strikeouts in the first frame. Ooh, nice little Cueto delay, and then he delivers one behind Davis. I think right now would be a good pitch, something down and away. I don't like that little two-seamer that he – I don't know if he has control over that pitch down and away, but – Oh, please. Shaw. Ooh, jammed him. Wow, Rotino cannot believe the call from the umpire, Kyle, who said that he checked in time. They're asking for a review down on the field. If he swung? Are we trying to get a, a swing, a review on a swing? Well, I think they're asking whether or not he fouled it away. Trev says we're good. All right. Ploof believes in his stuff. Former star at Crespi High in the Los Angeles area. Used to throw some gas out of the pen back in the day. Oh, he's trying to oh, collect now. himself now. Wow. Whoa, what was that? A little foreign substance, perhaps? What's happening there? I don't Turning his... Whoa, what are you doing? What are we doing? I got to tell you, I love the forgotten rotten jerseys. Just saying. Maybe the special team means special tact? Spider tact? I don't know. Well, we, of course, check our players for nothing. Foreign substances, performance enhancers. That all flies here. Absolutely. <laughs> Good layoff. Forgotten Rotten wearing the uh, Brewers-esque jerseys. Of course, Vinny Rotino does the pre- and post-game shows up there in Cheeseland. Oh, Ooh. whoa! Now, that one did hit Davis in the noggin. It did. In which case, he should get first base. Oh, uh, nice show of sportsmanship. Plouffe, who literally was trying to get inside the head of Davis in the first inning, now hits him in the head in the second. It might be that foreign substance. It looks like he feels bad. Let's see if that affects him anyway. As he's going up against uh, Dan Rourke. So MLW has its second runner, man on, one out for Rourke, who walked in the first, also struck out. Kind of an interesting battle here, Joes, because it's the man in jeans against the guy who's got 
great baseball genes. Yes. Two different spellings if you're scoring at home. Oh, that just nicked the inside corner. That is a strike. So Plouffe ahead, one and two. Got to be ready to put this ball in play here. Fall it off. Yeah, you got to imagine that MLW is not going to get too many opportunities against the one seed and Trevor Plouffe. Boy, you got a man on. You've got to take advantage of it. Put something on the scoreboard or you could head to the loser's bracket in a hurry. Look at the, look, whoa, Guido just missed down low. The winner of the 1-8 matchup will face the winner of the 4-5 matchup between Mac Flurry and Shea Station. Hey. That's just a ball as it hits Rourke in the back. Travis losing the zone a little bit here. And I feel like Don is taking the strategy of hugging the plate a little bit. Like mm -hmm. He's up on the up on that right oh, now. Oh, yeah. He doesn't mind getting up there. He doesn't like that. Look, Trev doesn't like that. He feels like he's a little bit too... Oh! And how about this? He's calling him on it. Yeah. You know, I'll tell you, if anybody ever did this to Anthony Rizzo, we'd probably have a problem because Rizzo's one of those guys who really gets up there on that stripe. Oh, and how about that? Ploof with the head games. He gets Rourke looking. We head to the bottom of the second, and we are scoreless. Well, one of the great things here during the Blitzball battle presented to you by DraftKings is the way the athletes look. You're probably thinking, man, those are some cool threads they got on. I wonder how I could look like that. Well, for more on how you can, let's send it down to Kelsey. Two phenomenal jersey options down here. We got the MLW Snakes. We got the Forgotten Rotten. You can buy your own at shop.johnboymedia.com if you guys are interested. These are two. These are really two of the best ones that we have. I would love to get your take on the game so far in your jersey, Dan. Frustrating, yo. You know, coming in as a replacement, I was trying to, I am doing my best, but I wanted to, you know, offer a little bit more as a teammate so far. Not doing that, but game's not over yet, so. Do y'all have the best jerseys in the tournament? Uh, I like uh, ours, and I like uh, Jerry and Jolly. Jo um, jo and where can people buy them? Shop.johnboymedia.com. Uh, look, if you buy a jersey, you'll have more confidence than Dan. Like he's mid-game defeated already. He should be more ah. confident. Just go buy, go buy a jersey. You'll feel confident. Go buy a jersey. Go to our social medias and vote for your favorite jerseys. We'll get these two. He's bullying a kid. We'll get these two out to the game before it gets ugly. Guys, good luck. All right, Kels, thank you very much. Love that Forgotten Rotten. Yeah, jersey. that's that's. Uh, and by the way, their alternate jerseys are fresh. You'll see those later in the tournament as well. So, if Forgotten Rotten scores, we've got a winner. If not, we go to extra innings. Trevor Plouffe, who has the lone hit of the game. One for two with a single, and he struck out looking last time. Oh, check swing. Did he check it? He did not go, says the umpire. Pitching is dominating early in this tournament, so kind of interested to see if Later on with tired arms, if that would be the same. So. Great point, Joe's. Great point. Loof holds up yet again. 20-year-old Drew Davis, star in the Wiffle Ball League. 29 innings, struck out 66, and now you can see why. Look at that two-seamer run in at 73 miles an hour. Breaks so much, man. That's just it's great. He's ready to go, too. Ooh, another one. Good layoff by Plouffe. Really wanted that one. Really critical hitter here because if you get the leadoff man on, when you're facing a pair of major leaguers, spells trouble. Oh, nice pitch. That is impressive. Love that pitch. That's my favorite pitch. Two-seamer. Yeah, you think it's staying runner. outside and it yes. just catches the corner? Love it. So it's now four and two. Try to go back to that well again. So we got a full count now. Oh, and a called third strike for the second straight time. Drew Davis sets down the former major leaguer looking oh so impressive for a 20-year-old. Look at that pitch. It looks like it starts out in the left, wow. uh, the left batter's box and just breaks over the plate. It's awesome. 
So that brings up Vinny Rotino now. Just an out away from going to our second straight extra inning affair. And he gets jammed. That is a single as the ball gets all the way to the wall before either Snake's defender can field it cleanly. And that'll bring up Plouffe. I'm going to be honest. The, as hard as people are throwing right now in this in this early going in this tournament, I would I would not play the pull side right now. Put my fielder a little bit more, shade him toward the middle, see if he can be able to field those balls that go the opposite way. So man on, man out. The drama is building. It's the race for $10,000. The one seed forgotten, rotten. The eight seed, the MLW Snakes. Big swing and a miss at a ball at his shoes. That kid's locked. You know, Joe, as we started out this game wondering how would wiffle ball skills translate over to blitz ball, I would say just fine. Yeah, on the pitching side for sure. Wow, fouled away and a mean hack by Plouffe who wanted to end it on that one. There was a lot of anger in that swing. Fouled away again as Plouffe starting to perhaps time the kid a little bit better. He's not giving up on that two seam on the outside as he was earlier. I feel like he's uh, got a beat on him a little bit. Let's see. Trevor Plouffe hit a career-high 24 homers in the 2012 season. 756 OPS that year. He puts one here in the upper deck, and this one's over. He's been in the lower part of the zone so much, I, almost, I would almost be tempted. I know it's Trevor Plouffe and all, but to go up in the zone, up and in, just to see what happens. And foul ball. Once again, it hit the wall in zone two. That was a foul ball. One more out to get here. Plouffe has worked the count full. The 20 year old. Swing and a miss! as he gets the former major leaguer and hats off, literally, to Drew <laughs> Davis. <laughs> I love that, man. Wow. Love, love that energy. I mean, this is, what is this, three strikeouts of the major leaguer. This two of them looking, one of them swinging here. He's got Bluff talking to himself a little bit. And this is really interesting because the unquestioned one seed coming into this tournament, Forgotten Rotten, with a pair of former major leaguers yes. taking on a pair of kids. Rourke's 21. Davis is 20 years old. He's excelled in the Wiffle Ball League. He's without his regular partner. Exactly. And look at this. He's taking it now to extra innings. Hats off to the eighth seed. You know, one of the things about that pitch, I don't know if you remember, I was saying that he was really – aiming at the bottom of the zone that I think that going up in the zone to Plouffe would be great, and he did, and he swung right through it. So now we head to extra innings where we begin with ghost runners on first and third. So runners at the corners, already one out. So the team out in the field only has to get one out instead of the customary two. Plouffe has been outstanding on the mound. Starts Davis off with a strike. I think that's the best strategy right there, just pepper the zone. Start off the at bat there. Just misses down low. Davis 0 for 2 with a walk. Stink on that. Plouffe so far with phenomenal control. He's thrown f fewer than 40 pitches to here this point in the third. That ball hits in the back, but once again, that only counts as a ball. It's not a hit by pitch unless he hits him in the head more than 60 miles an hour. Fouled away. I jammed him. You could tell he was shaking his hand a little bit there. I definitely jammed him. The pitch had a lot of movement going inside, diving in. Meeting of the minds right here at the mound. 
Well, it is two former major leaguers, so let's not say meeting of the minds. It's, it's all relative. <laughs> kidding. Just kidding out there. <laughs> Look at that. Beautiful. High outside strike, and Ploop has got it working, folks. Part-time painters painting the outside of the corner. So we head to the bottom of the third. And for the second time in as many innings, Forgotten Rotten will have a chance to walk it off. How good has Drew Davis been on the mound today? 44 pitches, only 26 balls, 18 strikes. And you might sit at home and say, wait a second, he's got thrown more balls than strikes. Go order yourself a blitz ball set. You'll see exactly how tough it is. Or better yet, just subscribe to this channel and we'll be giving away a complete blitz ball set to two new subscribers to this channel. So you want a blitz ball set? Yeah. Subscribe to the channel. We're also giving away $1,000 each to two people who subscribe to this channel. So by just watching, you too can be a winner. That's a... You tell how difficult it is. I mean, he is a professional wiffle ball player, and uh, the strike zone is not that easy to find. He's still pitching great. So here we go. Vinny Rotino, one for two with a walk. Also a ground out and a single. All the time. So he's actually been able to put the ball in play. Drew is wanting to get clarification on where the single line is. He's trying to get clarification on what means what. And the teacher, Jake, is explaining it. Well, if your teacher is Jake, then the odds of you actually learning something. Which is why he's probably asking somebody else um, to verify these rules. Very important that he does so, so that he knows what's going on, especially us being in extra innings here. Hey, listen, we could joke and have fun. There's 10 grand on the line. No, absolutely. I want clarification, too. Everything. I don't know about you. I was not uh, in the race for 10 grand at 20 years old. Ooh, big swing and a miss by Rotino who gets jammed. So one more ball put in play by Rotino for a hit will be a walk-off win for the one seed. That, that last pitch before, um, it looked like it was slated to hit the inside. It just darts so late. Super late life on his pitches. Well, Vinny Rotino has been in this position before. His lone blitz ball contest out in Milwaukee earlier this year had a walk-off hit. So he has faced this pressure at this level and has performed. What do you think is going through Davis's head right now? 20 years old, I know it wasn't the same thing that was going through my head. <laughs> He has fallen behind the former major leaguer, four and one. Nice strike to get back in the count. Oh, it hit him. Hit, whoa, and Rotino wants a little piece of the kid. Remember, Vinny Rotino, 42 years old. He is the oldest player in this competition, more than twice as old as the kid that just hit him. Now, BBD got off that bench. I'm not sure what, uh, what was going on there. Uh, he had some cramps in his back. Great job by the kid. Wow. Oh, was... But hold on. Hold on. They're saying that it was too fast. It... The pitch was too fast. So that pitch was at 76 miles an hour. Once again, the plateau is 75 miles per hour. So if that happens, then it counts as a ball. It did, and so it is now a walk. So the bases are loaded for Trevor Plouffe. Game on the line, one out. Let's see what happens. Pitching with a pitch limit is tough, especially in big spots. Oh, look at this. He gets ahead of Plouffe. Ploof, one for four. He started off hot with a single, but then back-to-back -back strikeouts looking, and then 
Davis got Ploof swinging. They're calling that one a ball because it went 76 miles per hour. Wow. The kid is feeling it. He's got to throttle it down a little bit. Okay, take that one at 70 miles an hour. Like I said, I think it's tough. Big parts in the game. You kind of just want to blow it by everybody. And uh, Oh, he does it again at 72. He's mad. Oh, look at this. Ploof calling a hitter's timeout. He's I haven't mad. seen this since Little League. He's mad. He is mad. He feels a little spited. I, I would feel a little slighted. Sorry. Or well, you could be spiteful. Oh, you could be spiteful. A big swing and a miss. And Ploof goes down swinging. He has struck out four consecutive okay. times against the kid, Drew Davis, who has done a phenomenal job keeping the eight seed, the MLW Snakes, in this one. So we now head to our second extra inning in the one versus eight matchup. Bases loaded, one out. Thank you. For a man that taunted earlier in the game, uh, saying, you know, not even swinging, just standing up there, and uh, he struck out, struck out four times since that act. So. so now that we're moving to the fourth inning, the rules change once again. Instead of ghost runners on the corners, it will be ghost runners at all bases. So the bases are loaded with one out. So we are really forcing the action. Kelsey Winger, how's the tension down there? It's getting a little intense down here. I'm starting to realize the dynamic between Trevor Plouffe going this deep into extra extras versus his producer of baseball today and sequence and Dan Rourke. It is the interesting battle. It's the dude who's all flash and style from L.A. against the dude who just picked up a pair of worn-out jeans right before playing blitz ball. Ploof hits him. That's just a ball. Speaking of sequence, sequence is an awesome channel. I, I love it. The breakdown with the major leaguers and everything like that, and their at-bats. I just... I, and kinda, Trevor Ploof said that will continue next season in some form. They just haven't figured out what yet. There's a strike, foul ball, big time pressure, and a huge opportunity for Dan Rourke, a replacement player for Jimmy Norp, the reigning MVP of the Wiffle Ball League, had to pull out right before the tournament. Big swing and a miss by Rourke. Vinny has asked the umpire crew to watch out for Dan with his placement and the box. He's inching pretty close there, so they're keeping a special eye on Dan at the plate. Very much like Kevin Durant on the line in the Eastern Conference playoffs. Wow. And look at this. Rourke has nothing for Plouffe. Great job by Trevor Plouffe, who continues to shine on the mound. Two hits in this entire game. I think it has more to do with how good the pitching is, how great the pitching has been, the movement on the pitches versus how bad hitting is. I don't think it's – I mean, these are major leaguers over here. Pitching has uh, been phenomenal. Well, I got to tell you, this 20-year-old kid, Drew Davis, out of Pickney, Michigan, has done a phenomenal job. He has challenged the former major leaguers. And let's remember, he gave up a hit to Trevor Plouffe in his first at bat, yep. and then after that, strikeouts the rest of the way. He is not intimidated, but now he has got to bring the juice because, once again, the bases will be loaded with one out, here in the bottom of the fourth. And uh, our boss, Jimmy O'Brien, just came up to me and said, if there is no score here, it's going to turn off and turn into a swing off where each team gets to pick one teammate to throw five pitches to the other, and it moves into a swing off if there are no runs scored right here. Wow, okay, that's going to be interesting. Kelsey all over it as always. I got to tell you, Joe's eyes kind of perked up when we heard a little swing off. He, Get some action up here. Yeah, so base is loaded for Vinny Rotino. Wow, what a great job as Davis continues to dot the strike zone. That's so good, man. Look at that. That's, that's just awesome. And he goes to the other side. <laughs> this kid's unhittable, man. I, I, how, do you, how do you protect the plate against that? But, however, there was a problem because oh. the speed was too fast, more than 75 miles an hour. 
So that'll count as a ball. Just misses the outside corner. But Davis is really feeling it. Every pitch right around that 75-mile-an-hour barrier. Just missing. He's so close. Everywhere. Oh, now Plouffe talking trash to the kid. And he's right. Look at him. He's really trying to get in the head of the 20-year-old. Uh, walk in this run here. Oh, he gets him. Okay. So it is a four and two count now. And he got him. Look at Davis every time hopping <laughs> off the mound, losing his hat, showing off that luscious lettuce. And he has got the eighth seed very much alive as we go to the fifth inning. So as we head to the fifth in a scoreless game, the rules change even more. Kelsey Winger, please clarify this for us. We're not yes. very smart. So the rules of the swing off, this is a home run derby format. So each of the teams got to pick one of the players to throw three pitches to their teammate. Bases are cleared, home run derby style. After each team throws three pitches, if no runs are scored, they'll go pitch by pitch. So Drew and Vinny have been selected as the hitters, and then you have... Um, Decaf Dan and Trev pitching ah. to their teammates. So that is the home run derby. First to win, baby. We'll see what happens. All right, Kels, thank you very much. A lot of drama in this one. The eighth seed will be the one to pitch and hit first as Dan Rourke delivers to his teammate. That is not a home run. And not quite. Once again, balls off the ceiling are in play as well. Here it comes, oh, there's a home run. Off the ceiling, off the back wall, over the shelf. And the eighth seed has a run on the board. Dan was so hype on that. That's a great, I mean, he threw it right in his wheelhouse. Dan was happier than, <laughs> he was happier than the hitters. I mean. So here we go. Vinny Rotino needs a homer in three pitches to tie. Two will win it, or the one seed will go down. Uh, this will, I think that losing in this style competition would be the most embarrassing. Oh. So Vinny is looking for a homer and a double here. A homer and a double would win it. And that is no good. So a homer and a double apparently will win this thing. He's got two pitches left. And we have a tie game! Rotino circles the bases, even though he's standing still. Uh, it has all come down to this. He was aiming at me. And he hits the ball off the wall for a double! That is a game winner, and speaking of off the wall, ploof! Rotino, they are bouncing around like crazy as the one seed. They needed three extra frames, but they got it done. All righty, guys, we got to pick our blitz ball player of the game. You had a great pitching performance from Trevor Plouffe, but Vinny walked it off there. What are you guys thinking? Absolutely. You, you, I mean, Vinny Rotino was the hitting star in a game that didn't see any runs until home run derby. And so our blitz ball player of the game, unquestioned, will be the one and only Vinny Rotino. <laughs> All righty, Trev got voted off. Trevor is not the MVP, our Blitzball MVP of the game. I will crown Vinny with the double and the home run in extra innings to walk it off versus the eight seed Vinny. How are you feeling right now? Take me through the emotions because we thought that y'all were about to get upset by the eight seed when Drew hit that bomb over there. Yeah, my heart rate is very high and my voice is a little hoarse at this point. But I will say that I was a little nervous we were going to get knocked off by that eight seed. There's a reason why we're number one in this tournament, right? We have 109 home runs between me and Trevor Plouffe in the big leagues. I have three. He's got 106. 
So we uh, we got to, you know, step up and make it happen here. I'm glad we were able to take game one. Take me through the strategy of y'all selecting Trevor Plouffe to pitch to you. Yeah, because I, I don't think I can throw strikes. And he just lobbed it in there perfectly every single time. And obviously the first one was a little too amped up, and then I just played pepper with it. And, you know, my hands are, my goodness, they're great hands. So, you know, yeah, so... <laughs> So, so all I got to do is, is, you know, barrel it up and, and it's going to go. Well, please enjoy this victory. Go hug the eight seed because I'm pretty sure those guys are feeling pretty sad right now. They thought they had you. Congratulations you. on the Blitzball MVP. We hope you enjoy your crown. I appreciate it. <laughs> we'll get it back up to you, Chris. Kels, a great performance by Vinny Rotino as the one seed dodges a bullet. And a quick reminder that we are once again giving away complete Blitzball sets to brand new subscribers to this channel, so don't forget to subscribe. Yes, that was indeed our Blitzball player of the game, the one and only Vinny Rotino. Well, as we take a look at the bracket, boy, pitching has been unbelievable in our two games that have each gone extra innings. Team Baggage has a win, and now the one seed Forgotten Rotten moves on as well. Next time we see you, Forgotten Rotten, we'll find out who they'll face in round number two because it'll be the 4-5 matchup between Beck Flurry, Power, and Shea Station. For Kelsey Winger, Joe's McFly, and our outstanding crew here at John Boy Media, I'm Chris Rose. We'll see you next time here on the Blitzball Battle presented to you by DraftKings. We rolling? We are rolling. I would like to apologize for my god awful performance. I did nothing to help my, my boy Drew no, here no, no. try to win us in the end. No, I'm being for real. I wish I could do better. I was trying to get in his head to get any advantage because, man, you get in the box against yeah, him. He was, he's filthy. Yeah, no, it was cool facing two big leaguers. I mean, I was pumped to come and play against him. So right. it's, I mean, not done through. yet. Not done yet. No, I mean, it's, it's borderline impossible, especially he threw a sinker that started like over your head at what looked like 115 miles an hour and then dropped at the top of the zone. It's, it's almost impossible to hit. Will you be coming back in jeans and boots tomorrow? Yeah, I don't think it hindered my play at all. So I think I'll be coming back to this unless it's not allowed. Do you feel like you beat up on kids? <laughs> I, I 